Hi, I'm Chope Hutchings, and this is how to mix your song on your phone in BandLab. First, record your tracks. Here, I have a drum track, a bass track, a guitar track, a lead synth track, a synth track, and a vocals track. Now tap on the mixer settings icon at the bottom left of the screen. The first part of mixing a song is setting the panning of each track. The panning of each track generally will be slightly different for each pro studio, or for each artist, and even for each song. So here is my suggested settings. Drums usually stay in the center of the mix so leave the pan knob icon on the drum track header set to center. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. The bass guitar is sometimes left in the center too, but here I suggest panning the bass track and guitar track so they balance each other in the stereo mix. So press on the pan knob icon on the bass track header and drag up the screen until it says about 40% R on the pop-up message. I came from the emptiness with nothing Now press on the pan knob icon on the guitar track header and drag down the screen until it says about 40% L on the pop-up message. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Synth tracks are best used to fill out the stereo mix. So I suggest duplicating the synth track and hard panning. So tap on the three dots on the synth track header. Then tap on duplicate on the pop-up menu. You might also find it easier to tap on the three dots again. And tap on move up to move the duplicate track below the synth track. Then press on the pan knob icon on the duplicate synth track and drag down the screen until it says about 100% L on the pop-up message. The vocal track usually sits in the center of the mix. But here I'm going to suggest a trick that helps blend the vocals into the mix. So tap on the three dots on the vocal track header and tap on duplicate on the pop-up menu. Then press on the pan knob icon on the duplicate vocal track and drag up the screen until it says about 85% R on the pop-up menu. Next, drag the dot on the line on the duplicate vocal track header to the left until the dot is about a third of the way along the line. This will reduce the volume of the duplicate vocal track. Now tap on the three dots on the duplicate vocal track header. And tap on duplicate on the pop-up menu. Then press on the pan knob icon on the second duplicate track 
and drag down the screen until it says about 85% L on the pop-up message. Finally, the lead synth track usually sits in the center of the mix, so we can leave the pan knob icon on the lead synth track set at center. If you also have a backing vocals track, I suggest duplicating the backing vocals track and pan one track to about 70% R and the other track to about 70% L. Also, if you have a bass track but no guitar track, you can duplicate the bass track and pan one bass track to 40% R and the other to about 40% L. Once you have panned your tracks, drag the dot on the line on each track header to set the volume level of each track. I recommend starting by pressing on the S icon on the original vocal track to solo the vocal track. Then drag in the dot on the line on the vocal track header to the left or right until the green line on the master volume, which is below the bottom track, reaches about three quarters of the way across the meter or reaches the circle on the meter if you haven't moved the circle and the number to the right of the meter says 0 dB. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose then out of the shadows came you out of the shadows then tap on the S icon on the vocal track header again, so the vocal track is no longer soloed. Now adjust the volume of the other tracks, starting with the drum track. I came from the emptiness with nothing. Then the bass and guitar tracks. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Then out of the shadows came you. Then the synth tracks. I came from. And finally, any backing vocal tracks and the duplicate vocal tracks. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Then out of the shadows came you out of the shadows. And of course, the synth lead track. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Then out of the shadows came you out of the shadows.
once you are happy with your mix. Tap on the mixer settings icon again. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.